Happy Homebrew Wednesday, everybody. Uh, we've got the Bell's Two-Hearted Clone out. We're doing a side-by-side -side tasting. Uh, it's my friend Summers. Hello. Also a home brewer. Have you ever done any clones? I have done a few clones. Um, doing a Heady Topper clone right now, which is a beer from the Alchemist. Um, in Vermont, Waterbury, Vermont. So the problem with that, I'm not going to be able to do a side-by-side. -side. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to get one. Yep. But we'll find out. Hopefully it's good. Awesome. All right, so we'll taking a look at these here. This one, the number two looks a little darker. It does. A little bit more head on the number two, I think. I think that this one is the. You think that's too hard? Do you think this is the too hearted for some reason? Okay. It's more of like that. It's a lighter. I, I just think that uh, too hearted. I don't remember it being so. Yep. Hard. Strong. Yep. Which one do you think it is? I'm thinking it's this too. I'm not but the same smell here. Yeah, this is gonna be, I think this is, mine smells better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's going to, it's fresh. You know, it's yeah. off, off, off breath, it's half. But they smell very similar. They do. Well, I mean, not the drinks on. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Drink. When you do it, I'll do, I'll do the first, first one. Okay. This one's got a little bit more of a bite to it. Yeah. It does, more of a bite. It's more bitter. It's got more of that um, that definite homebrew hop yep. flavor, you know. Not the homebrew hop, but it's definitely uh, that's definitely the too hard. I think. Yep, I think so too. I'm almost even getting a little bit of yeast out of this too. Yeah, I can see that. They're both good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know. Alright, well, now we're gonna. I'll go find out which is which. I had my wife Rachel uh, pour them for us. We got these labeled one and two, so. I don't know, I like it. I, I don't know that I change anything about the, about the recipe at all. Yeah. I kind of I li I kind of like drinking mine a little bit better. Almost. Yeah, it's got it's got more of poppy poppiness to it for sure. All right, let's find it's out. Really nice. On it. All right, looks like we were correct. Number one is the Bells. Um, I don't know, I'd have to say maybe not quite cloned, just because the homebrew version of it is a little bit more bitter. Uh, it's got a little bit more going on there. So I don't, I don't know, maybe if I let it sit around a little bit more, I don't know. Yeah, this one is definitely clean yep. tasting, you know? Yep. Which is. Yep. And then this one, yeah, like you said, like, it's got a little just... bit of a yeast bite on it. What did you, um, what did you mash in at? Um, 152, I believe. 52? Yeah. That's what, um, did you find that on online, the recipe? Yeah, this is a recipe from, uh, Zymergy. Um, oh. So it was from one of their, a couple years ago, they had a bunch of corn recipes mm -hmm. in there. So, it's good. Yeah, I'm interested to see what this is going to taste like. Um, my heady top of Um Like I said, sometimes I just let my beer sit because I'm like, oh, I'll do it today. Yep. I'll, I'll, I'll change it over today. I'll wreck it. Tomorrow comes. So I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it today. It's yeah. Just, it's, it's just sitting there. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks. Come over. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Happy Homebrew Wednesday, everybody. Happy Cheers. Wednesday. Happy Wednesday on a Saturday. <laughs> One other thing that came to mind is, I was thinking uh, maybe the water had something to do with the fact that uh, the beers didn't taste. Uh, they were close, but definitely not the same. Uh, the water we use here in Milwaukee might be a little bit different than what they're using over in Michigan. 
So that might be something to look at. Uh, I haven't done anything with water chemistry. Uh, maybe it's a good, good, good time to experiment. Uh, try, uh, try adding some salts, maybe to accentuate the malt flavors a little bit more. Also, another thing I didn't think about was uh, the amount of alpha acid. Uh, the alpha acid. I didn't look at the alpha acid in the hops I use, so uh, perhaps I maybe should scale back uh, the hops a little bit if the alpha acids were higher than the, than the ones in the recipe. Again, thanks for summers for coming over, uh, tasting, doing the beer tasting with me. I will see you guys next week. Cheers.